Hi, Lori Steinfeld here with the original wall stamp and today's a cool day because the brick stamp is in. We've been waiting so long to present this to you. I'm so excited. We have six other designs that are on our website, theoriginalwallstamp.com, and you should go there and check out all the designs and the projects and the things that our customers have already done using the original wall stamp, which is so much faster than stenciling and so much more cost effective than wallpaper. And if you don't love it or you want to change your decor in a year, you just roll over it. So you can go from average to fabulous in minutes. Then you just, it's easy cleanup. You just wash the stamp and use it over and over again. So today we're going to uh, do the brick stamp. You paint your wall the color that you want the grout. So I've painted this wall in my garage in Southern California, which is over 100 degrees. So this is a, a labor of love for, for you, the original wall stamp customer. So I've painted the wall gray because I'm going to do a used brick. And if you don't know how to choose color, you can take a brick down to um, any store and find the colors that you like. So this is what we're going to do, do today. And here's what you're going to need. The brick stamp and it comes with a level which goes right in here and you can go online uh, to the original wall stamp.com and you can it walks you through how to use the stamps you put this level right in the back here um, and make sure it's straight and that's what's going to help us make sure this is level you get your level straight and then your stamp is is also straight but we're going to get going on this and you're we're going to watch this wall go from average to fabulous and you won't believe okay here we are so I have my colors, I have my brick red color, I have my stamp, uh, the, the design side up, obviously. I have three little chip brushes that I'm going to dab into color. Um, I have not used this stamp yet. You are seeing it for the first time uh, with me. I have my wet rag. In case there's a mistake, you just wipe it right off and start over. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll my brick red onto the stamp. That is a very pretty color, but I don't want it to be all uh, brick red. And I also always say when you first start using the stamp, roll it twice so that you know that you're loaded with color. As you get going, the color will build up and you don't have to put quite as much on. So now look, I have sort of this um, tan, sort of brick tan color, a darker sort of charcoal brown, and then a taupey tan. And I'm, I don't know what I'm after yet, so I'm just gonna see how it works. I already have my brick red on the stamp. I'm just gonna dab in um, some other colors. Uh, I put the brown sort of at the edge. Uh, that'll make it look pretty authentic, uh, the way that bricks age and the way that the, the brown goes. I'm sort of running the taupey tan across the middle of the brick. And then I have some of this, it's kind of a pinky blush um, brick color. And like I said, you and I are gonna see this for the first time uh, together because I don't know how it's gonna look but I'm so excited because I've done prototypes but I haven't done the actual um, brick and you're gonna do this any way that any color that works for your home there's no right or wrong but you learn as you go I know that for sure how that works To stop for the the time lapse for a minute I want to show you how I figured out the color is I am rolling it with the red brick um, you can go to any hardware store and find a color match whatever uh, you like so this I picked this color which is sort of a burnt um, red orange then I am just dra dragging a little bit of this um, sort of a, a peachy tan brick color over the top of it and here's the key I have this little tiny tiny roller that I put my charcoal brown in and I'm rolling that sort of uh, over the whole, whole thing but really kind of in the edges on the edges and that's giving it that sort of um, deeper look that I'm after so again I turned it back around so now I'm gonna come right in here you just fit it like a puzzle piece we already have our grout line, so we're butting this right up next to the other brick. And we hold on to it and stamp. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm using it twice in areas that, like behind a couch or behind a hutch, that won't matter. 
as much. Um, I'll go ahead and use this, show you this one twice. Um, so I put that again right up next to the last brick because the stamp has the grout already in there. So it looks like it's touching, but it's not because the grout is the negative in the stamp. So this one I'm going to pat a little harder because it's the second time I've used it. So you can see this didn't cover quite as much. Um, so you can take your brush, you can dab it, you can throw in some more color, or you can leave it overall. Look, this one hardly even covered that at all, but at the end, when it's all said and done, that's actually probably gonna look pretty cool. So I'm gonna have time. This wall took me about 25 minutes to stamp. So, uh, and I've been doing this for 100 years, so if you're just new and get a girlfriend, have fun, have, do it with your husband, do it with a friend, do it with your kids. Um, you can get this done while your kids are at school, so you can change the look of your home in a matter of hours and surprise uh, people when they walk in your door. Um, so what I do at the end is I take the colors that were on the brick. I have my red, my brown, uh, that taupey tan, and then some of the, the peachy tan. And then you just go in and you look, and you can just play around and fill in where you want to fill in. Uh, remember my wall here has a little divot in it, so it didn't hit quite the way it should. Um, we're like in these areas, if it doesn't bother you, keep it. If you want to make it, um, if you want to fill it in, dab it in with your little chip brush. And look, I'm not brushing, I'm dabbing. Because that gives it that look of the stamp of age. See this one, if we want to fill it in a little bit, you just dab it. I kind of like it because the overall look when you stand back, it looks like authentic used brick. Super expensive. So this is just a great, fun remedy for achieving a look in your home that, you, that you're after. Again, white brick would be fun. Gray brick is super in right now. Um, you can do this anywhere. I'm gonna do it. I just hope that you check it out, theoriginalwallstamp.com, and look at all the stamps, because we have different designs. Once this is uh, dialed in and styled, and you hang a painting and put a couch in front of it, it's just the overall feel. And people feel when they come into your home. And this is an expression of you being unique in your own home. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a shot and check out theoriginalwallstamp.com. Thanks so much. And hey, this was a labor of love. I am sweating in Southern California. It's over 100 degrees out. So this was for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.